ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഓ ഫസ്റ്റ് ബി എ ബി കോം ബി എസ് സി ബി സി എ ആൻഡ് ബി എസ് ഡബ്ല്യു ലെറ്റ് എസ് നൗ ലുക്ക് ആറ്റ് കോൺകോട്ട് എ യൂണിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രാമർ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ഗോ ടു സ്റ്റഡി ദ സി ആർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് കോൺകോട്ട് മീൻ കോൺകോട്ട് മീൻസ് സബ്ജെക്ട് വർക്ക് എഗ്രിമെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ എനി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഇൻ എ സെൻറ്റൻസ് ദ വർക്ക് ഷുഡ് എഗ്രി വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ് സബ്ജെക്ട് ഇൻ നമ്പർ so what does it mean it simply means that if there is a singular subject in a sentence we need to use a singular verb and if there is a plural subject a plural verb is used now what does subject mean subject means the agent of action in a sentence in our language we call it kartra pada and what is verb verb is kriya pada it indicates the action okay so the subject does the action does the work right and the verb indicates the action that is done by the subject a subject can be either a noun or a pronoun okay what are the pronouns in english so we have got i we these belong to the first person when you come to the second person you have got you and in the third person we have got he she it and they so in the first person we have i and we here i is singular and we is plural but when we construct sentences we normally make use of plural verbs after or along with i and we the exceptions being am and was so we say i am a teacher that is singular i was a teacher last year so that is a uh, uh, singular in all the other places we make use of plural verbs along with i so i is plural normally with these two exceptions we is always plural for example i go to mangalore we go to mangalore come to the second person now you go to mangalore so in kannada we have got two words in the second person these are neenu mattu neevu but when you come to english you have got just one pronoun there that is you what does it mean does it mean neenu neevu it means neevu and you know that in english there is no word for neenu even when i talk to my daughter or my son i cannot use a singular verb i have to use a plural verb itself and plural pronoun as well so i say you go to my dwell i'm talking to my dog say how do i say you come here you go i can say you goes that is grammatically wrong so what is understood in the first person we have got two pronouns these are i and we and both take plural verbs i go we go when you come to the second person again you make use of just the plural verbs for example you come you go you study you listen you read you sleep you laugh you smile okay so there is no singular form in the second person now come down to the third person in the third person you have got he she it and they he she it are singular they is a plural example he goes to bandwar she goes to bandwar it goes to bandwar they go to bandwar clear 
So he is singular, she is singular, it is singular, they is plural. But when do we use they? They is used only when you have got more than one person. When you talk about more than one person, you have to make use of they. Remember, when you talk about one person, however great he may be, you can never use the pronoun they. It has to be he. See, I give me so much of respect, so I say I go, plural. I give you so much of respect because you are listening to what I am saying. So I say you go, you teach, plural. But the moment somebody goes out of sight, then we have to use the pronouns he, she, it. These are singular, purely singular. So he goes, she goes, it goes. But when there are two people, when there are two dogs, two books, two pencils, then we have to say or use the pronoun they. So they go out. They are barking. Right? They do not work. So they is used when you have got, when you are talking about more than one person or one object. Is that clear to you? So first person, I and we, both are plural with two exceptions. You, it's only plural. In the third person, he, she, it are singular, they is plural. Okay. Now there are, as far as the number is concerned, there are two kinds of verbs in a language. What are they? Singular verbs and plural verbs. So I'll begin with helping verbs. We have got a list of helping verbs in English. What are they? I'll begin with am. Am is a peculiar verb because it goes just with I. So I am a teacher. Okay. I am a doctor. I am an engineer. So am is singular, no doubt. It is used just with I. Correct? So am, second verb, helping verb. Is. When do we use is? We use is with he, she, and it. He is going. She is going. It is going. Okay? So is goes with third person singular. Right. Then you have got was. The past tense of was. Singular plural. It is singular in the past tense. So even with I, we make use of was. Okay. So I was, he was, she was, it was. Alright. So next auxiliary, primary auxiliary verb, R. R is plural. Okay. R is plural, but you can't use R with I because I has got a special primary helping verb that is am. So leave out I. R is used with we in the first person. In the second person, you. So we are studying grammar. You are studying grammar. When you come down the third person, it is used just with they. So they are studying grammar. So we are studying grammar, you are studying grammar, and they are studying grammar. It is plural in the present tense. In the past tense, we make use of were. I cannot be used with that because I goes with was. I was studying, right? I was teaching. I was reading. But when we use we, were comes in. Okay? So you were, we were studying, we were reading. Second person, you were reading, you were talking, you were listening, you were studying. Third person, they were writing, they were shouting, 
they were listening to me so were is a plural verb that is past tense so am singular is singular was singular are plural were plural clear to you come down we have got some more words here some more primary helping verbs has have had has is h a s okay has is singular have is plural had is past tense has singular so it goes with the pronouns like he has third person singular he has she has it has doesn't go with any pronoun either in the second person or in the first person so he has a book she has a book it has a book my my son has a book my friend has a book my father has a book fine she has a book it has a book okay so has is singular have is a plural form same meaning have is plural so have goes with your i i have we we have you you have they they have so has is singular have is plural then had is the past tense of both has and have he has a book last year he had a book past tense i have a book that is plural last year i had a book past tense so when you make use of had or any past tense verb you don't have to worry about the number because past tense doesn't care for the number you can use past tense verbs especially main verbs along with singular subjects and plural subjects for example i come plural he comes singular past tense i came past tense he came past tense is a same for both singular and plural so don't worry so much about your number when you are making use of past tense verbs okay so has have had has is singular have is plural had is the past tense form we have got one more set here does do did does is singular do is plural did is past tense okay so does singular do plural did past tense so does can be used with third person singular he does the work she does the work it does the work you can't say i does the work wrong i do the work so i goes with do okay we do the work you do the work he does the work she does the work it does the work they do the work so does is singular just like your has has is singular does is singular do is plural it goes with all the plural pronouns like i do we do you do they do right does he does she does it does both does and do have a past tense form what is that did so i told you i have already told you that don't worry about singular and plural the number when you are making use of past tense verbs because they are the same for both for example i did we did you did they did she did he did it did the difference occurs just in the past tense so he does she does it does clear now you have got another set of auxiliary or helping verbs these are called modal verbs like your can could shall should will would must may might etc 
don't worry about these verbs because for these verbs number doesn't matter can use both singular and plural with this auxiliary verbs for example i will he will we will you will she will it will they will so don't worry about that just forget it okay so what is our basic rule here that governs your concord singular subject should have a singular verb when you make use of a singular subject in any sentence remember to make use of a singular verb that's our first rule is it clear to you singular subject singular verb plural subject plural verb some examples i do the work plural we do the work plural you do the work plural he does the work singular she does the work singular it does the work singular they do the work plural now let us look at the main verbs in english so i told you i have already told you there are two sets of verbs in english uh, helping verbs are main verbs i have given you the examples using primary helping verbs now let's let us look at the main verbs in english main verbs are plenty now you can't make a list of their countless okay main verbs are countless for example go is a main verb come is a main verb write is a main verb read main verb talk main verb so how do these verbs change look when i use a singular subject i have to make use of yes with the verb which i am using so plus s yes. main verb plus s yes is singular for example he goes to bantwan he is singular subject okay he singular subject go is plural verb without s yes, that is plural so with s yes, that is singular so i should say he goes to mangalore he goes to mangalore she goes to mangalore it goes to mangalore but i without s yes, plural i go to mangalore we go to mangalore you go to mangalore they go to mangalore is it clear so when there is a singular subject remember to use s yes with your verb see if the verb is come how does it change he comes she comes it comes they come you come we come i come so s is used with singular and s is deleted when you have got a, a plural subject so singular subject singular verb plural subject plural verb when there is a main verb to make it singular add s with that if it is a plural delete s so plus s singular minus s plural now you may have a question here see when you make use of a noun then you add yes with it to make it plural for example one pencil that is singular noun i mean pencil is a singular noun here i am talking about nouns not verbs one pencil how do you make it plural two pencils one student how do you make plural two students right one pen two pens one boy two boys you add s with a noun that becomes plural correct right? you delete s then you get a singular noun but verbs are totally different when you add s with a verb that becomes singular correct right? when you delete s that becomes plural but when you have nouns adding s can make it 
plural deleting s can make it singular so this should be kept in your mind so clear now let us go to the second rule the first rule is that singular subject singular verb plural subject plural verb let us look at the second rule that governs your concord normally a subject is either a noun or a pronoun okay see ram is a good student ram it's a noun proper noun but then i can make a sentence by using he or she or it or they or you or we or i these are pronouns say so a noun can be used as a subject in a sentence even a pronoun can be used as a subject but sometimes we use some phrases having more than two or three words that can be quite confusing when you when you when you choose a correct verb say in a long sentence i mean uh, 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 when you use a phrase as a subject you will find it difficult to locate or find out the real subject and if you can't find out the real subject your sentence will become grammatically wrong i'll give you an example one of my students one of my students this is a subject in a sentence i'm talking about one of my students so look at the words here in the subject one of my students okay one is a noun you know it's a number of second words are preposition my is a pronoun possessive pronoun students is a noun so one of my students can leave out the possessive pronoun and the preposition here now just look at the first word and the last word in the subject first word is one the last word in the subject is students look at the difference students is plural one is singular so what kind of a word verb should you use here should you use a singular verb or whether you have to use a plural verb because students is plural so one of my students is intelligent or are intelligent if you look at the students then you may feel like using a plural verb students are if you look at one then you will think that is is right singular is right so what do you do so when you get this kind of a subject in which there are more than two or three words you should look at the real subject you should use your logic so in this sentence whom am i really talking about am i talking about the students in general or am i talking about just one student one of my students definitely i'm talking about one student so one is a real subject not the students okay students is not the real subject here there are two subjects no doubt first one is one the second one is students since i am talking about one student the verb should be singular not plural clear so what's the right sentence one of my students is absent today one of my relatives is a doctor one of my friends is an engineer okay so when you use one then the verb has to be singular don't look at the second subject that can be misleading clear okay there is an exception here see if i come out with a sentence like that he is one of the doctors who dash mangrove 
he is one of the doctors who dash with a bracket is live he is one of the doctors who dash in mangrove is a live who lives you may feel like saying it is lives because i am talking about one but grammatically live is right you need to use a plural verb here let me explain he is one of the doctors who live in mangrove not lives in mangrove you know why i am using a plural verb here because in this sentence i am making use of a relative pronoun what is a relative pronoun see words like who whom why which that whose etc in this sentence i am using the relative pronoun who so when you use a relative pronoun in a sentence the verb should agree with the subject that comes just before who we call it antecedent antecedent the verb should go with agree with the antecedent or the relative pronoun antecedent means the 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 subject that is referred to by the relative pronoun so in my sentence listen to my sentence again he is one of the doctors who live in mangro whom does who refer to the doctors the doctors is not singular that is plural clear so i should say he is one of the doctors plural who live in mangro i am using live here which is a plural verb because of who who refers to doctors which is plural okay so i'll give you one more example one of my relatives who live in chennai is a doctor see one of my relatives who live in chennai is a doctor one of my relatives who since who is used here the verb should agree with the word that comes just before that relatives are plural okay relatives are plural so i should say live but look at the next the verb in the second part one of my relatives who live in chennai is a doctor that is goes with one okay so the sentence actually means that i have got so many relatives who live in chennai and i am talking about one of them who is a doctor so clear i have got so many relatives in chennai one of them one among them is a doctor okay so one of my relatives who live in chennai is a doctor clear next one so what's the first rule when there is a singular subject singular verb when there is a plural subject plural verb second one when you use a phrase as a subject as the subject in a sentence you should find out the real subject okay then the the exception here when there is a relative pronoun in a sentence the verb should agree with the antecedent of the relative pronoun is it clear to you we'll go to the next rule now when two subjects are combined by using and then the verb has to be plural okay for example rama and sita are very good students rama and sita there are two singular subjects here what are they rama is a singular subject singular noun sita is also a singular noun so rama and sita are combined by using and so my verb has to be plural clear english and kannada are lovely languages english and kannada are 
lovely lunches he and i are very good friends i'm using and to combine the subjects here so what do you understand when two singular subjects are combined by using and then the verb has to be plural it's easy to understand but then when two singular subjects combined by using am refer to express one idea the same idea then the verb has to be singular let me repeat when two subjects express one idea then the verb cannot be plural it has to be singular for example bread and butter bread and butter is what i want bread and butter is not are see there are two subjects here what are they bread is a subject butter is also a sub both are nouns singular nouns and these are combined by using an but still we are using a singular verb because bread and butter express the same idea one idea how do you eat bread and butter uh, do you eat bread and butter separately no these two things come together so it is one idea so bread and butter is Okay, bread and butter has. You can't say are. Similarly, age and experience. Am I talking about two things or one thing? Just one thing. Age and experience are interrelated, isn't it? They are interrelated. Age and experience comes singular. Is singular. brings wisdom age and experience brings wisdom you can't say bring okay singular a very famous sentence slow and steady wins a race slow and steady wins a race if you are slow and steady slow and steady come on the same idea just one idea as a tide and time tight and time refer to the same is so when two subjects refer to one idea express the same idea remember to use a singular verb next two when two singular subjects combined by using and are uh, preceded by each and every let me repeat so you have got two singular subjects which are combined by using 